Hey everyone, so I am in my uni house. This is crazy. I've not filmed for so long. I'm back. I've been very busy here. This video is about this. That's the wrong way around. <laughs> this. So as you can see by the title, I basically made a skirt. I wanted a skirt like this for so long and like I just couldn't find one that was good enough so i thought i'd make it myself my mom is um she can sew like she's made me skirts before basically i had her to help me she did a lot for me <laughs> basically this is the skirt it's pretty cute it's just like a mini skirt it's got some slits here each section is a different color so you've got this one this one this one and on the back it's different yeah, let's just roll the clips. <laughs> so the first thing I did was find the pattern for the skirt. So my mom basically has these magazines where it's got a bunch of patterns. We found this skirt one and just adjusted a few things. It had some pockets and some buttons, but we, we just didn't include those. So I basically just took the pattern out and traced it, traced the one I needed, traced the size I needed as well. It tells you on the pattern which one to draw around, depending on your size. and then I cut them out. So then I had four pieces. So then I got my fabric out. I drew around the four patterns. I used some dry soap to draw around it. You can just use a fabric pen or whatever you have. So the front and back pieces, you have to use folded fabric. So just fold it and then it ends up being double the pattern. Once I drew around that, I also marked 1.5 centimeters for the seam allowance around the pattern that I drew and then I just cut that out so then I had one big front piece one big back piece and then I had four side pieces you also have to do two of each side piece I think the first one I did is put the front piece together with the two sides so I pinned them together obviously with the inside out I sewed 1.5 centimeters from the edge because that was the seam allowance and then put the back together as well so basically just put all the pieces together I'm pretty sure I only left the side with the zip open then after I put everything together I ironed the seams apart first I ironed them straight like how I sewed it and then I opened the seam up inside and ironed that out just to make it a bit flatter and not have it bulk so i used a piece of wood just to cool cool the fabric so it stays in place then i tried the skirt on and just like pinned the zip side and it was a bit big we basically just marked how much to take off from the sides and then sewed that down and then unpicked the old seam Then my mum sewed the zip on because the zip is kind of complicated. We were doing an invisible zip, so she did that for me. And then I tried it on again and it was still big, so we basically had to do the zip again and took take more we took more of the sides in. And then I'm pretty sure we sewed it somewhere like three or four times but yeah just basically we had to adjust it because the pattern that we did was a bit big then after it was the right size because we had taken more fabric in i went around all the seams on the inside and trimmed them to 1.5 again just so they weren't too long And then we had to secure the ends of all the fabric on the inside. We don't have an overlocker. I think that's what it's called, an overlocker, to like just secure the seam edges on the inside. So we just use a zigzag stitch and that should keep the fabric from fraying away and yeah. Then after I did that, we my mum sewed the waistband on the inside. Not really sure how she did that. I think she just basically just made a pattern for the waistband and then sewed it in. I 
I cut some of the seams down um, just to make it less bulky. And then I sewed down the waistband again just to make that flat. And then iron that down. Then we went on to doing the bottom of the skirt because the pattern was too long. We wanted to make the skirt a bit shorter. So I basically just put pins where I wanted the end of the skirt and where I wanted the slits. We unpicked until the pins. Then we marked how much we wanted to cut. So we basically, we had to leave four centimeters longer than how long I wanted the skirt to make the two, like sew the bottom of it basically. So we marked how long I wanted it and then we marked four centimeters below that. And then cut that off. We basically had to redo the bottom because the way the skirt was, if we cut it, there wouldn't have been enough fabric at the bottom. It doesn't really make sense, but I don't know. My mom said it was pretty complicated, but we basically just had to add a bit of fabric at the bottom so that it would still be tight. Then after we sorted out the bottom, we just um, hand sewed the four centimeters behind it and ironed that. Then we basically couldn't just fold it normally. We had to do some weird like triangle thing, as you can see. To make it less bulky, you kind of have to like sew the fabric diagonally so that there's less fabric there that's like, been folded. Otherwise we'd have to, on the corners, we'd have to like fold the bottom and fold the sides. It would be too much. So she did this weird triangle thing. I don't, honestly, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you can see in the video how she does it, but yeah. And then, so I basically hand sewed it um, underneath part to the skirt at the bottom. And you have to make sure that you can't see the thread on the outside. So you kind of just have to catch a few threads on the inside. So that's why I didn't use the machine to sew the bottom of it. Because otherwise you'd see it on the outside. So you basically have to hand sew the bottom part. And then after we did that, we did the slits. So the slits, my mom did as well because it was kind of complicated. She basically just like unpicked it and then sewed the fabric on the inside and did the triangle thing and everything. Yeah, very complicated. Not really sure how she did the slits. Yeah, we just uh, secured the slits with a little horizontal stitch at the top of the slits. And that was pretty much the last thing we did. I think after that, we just overlooked the edges of all those seams and that was pretty much it. So that is how I made it. Some things aren't very clear because my mom helped me with a lot of it. So like the slits, I literally have no idea what she even did. I don't know, like she just did this. And yeah, um, I was insert a picture here of the skirt. The only thing that we could have done to make it better is put like a lining on it because this is literally just the fabric if my mom can be bothered to do that because i don't know how to do that and that's pretty much the end of the video hope you enjoyed subscribe because there will be a lot of uni videos to come the next one will hopefully be unpacking and decorating my uni room because it's a bit of a mess right now make sure to like the video if you like the skirt and i will see you in my next video hopefully in a week bye